Hi sophomores, welcome to week eight of multimedia design. And this week we'll be working on completing your first full draft of your Where I'm From poem. So let's talk about what is actually due by Sunday. So by Sunday, you will be turning in the first draft of your Where I'm From poem. So we already started this last week and we worked on the first two elements of the poem. So you wrote your poem, you recorded your poem, you found your background song and you started editing it together. So you should be well on your way to complete this first draft. So this week you'll be working on fixing those first two elements and making sure they're to where you want them to be. And then you will be adding on the last two elements. So let's just go through those quickly to review them. So the first one is vocals. So this is where I'm looking for your voice over to see that you recorded your poem, you added pauses where pauses needed to be, you added breaks between lines, it flows together. Remember that you can always make pauses as you go. If you find that your lines were too close together or you didn't leave enough space, you can always shift things around. The second one was music. You already found your background song. You put it into the editing process. Just make sure that it is not overpowering what you are saying. So I still want your voice with your poem to be the main focus of this project but you just need that background song to add feelings. The third one is sound effects. So you will be finding two words or phrases that you can turn into sound effects. So you need two of those. So if you said, my house sounds chaotic in the morning, then you'll be finding a sound effect that sounds like a chaotic house in the morning. Your sound effect can go in conjunction with your word. So as you're saying the word or phrase, your sound may play at the same time, or you can go after, up to you how you decide to do that editing, as long as you have two of them. The last one is sound escape. So that is really looking at how does the poem make the audience feel? Did you convey the feelings you were trying to go for? How is your sound design production overall? So for this draft, you'll be doing all four elements. And you will be receiving uh, feedback from me no later than Wednesday. So I'm going to go in, listen to your poems, have my rubric on the side and give you feedback on what you can improve on or what you're missing in order to get full points on your project and truly just have the best project possible. Also do Sunday is your weekly quiz. This is an open ended question quiz. I'm really looking at how are you doing? So I want you to tell me what you're still unsure about, what you need help with, how are things going? That is what I can use in order to better help you. You can also tell me things in there, what you may be needing more feedback on, like maybe you were unsure on how you placed your sound effects. So you want me to really pay attention to your sound effects to give you feedback on that. You can feel free to specify that. This is just truly for me to get a chance to see how you're doing, what you need help with so that I can better help you. After the main video, there will also be an editing, mixing, and more video. So this walks you through even more components of Adobe Edition and more tools that you can use in order to perfect your project. So you will be going in and watching these videos in order to get the best project possible. So we already touched on some tools over the last few weeks, but this is gonna go even more in depth to give you the best project possible. So let's walk through Canvas so you know what you need to complete for this week. So you have your week eight video, which you're watching right now. You have the presentation and you have your editing, mixing and effects racked video. You have to go in and watch this. This will really help you complete your project and truly get the best project possible. Then you will be turning in your where I'm from draft one in here and your weekly quiz. Okay, take time with your weekly quiz so that I can know what you need and how to better help you. Once you do all of those things, you will be done for this week. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to help. That is it for this week and I'll see you next week.